Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Many a True Nerd, and welcome back to Deadly Premonition. I've just hit a tree. Uh, welcome back to Deadly Premonition, where last time we had one of our little wibbly moments. We had just a bit of a wibbly moment as we went through Becky's house. Becky's dead, unfortunately. The killers now claim two victims. Though, admittedly, um, Becky wasn't killed for the same reason Anna was. We don't know why Anna was killed, but we do know that uh, Becky was killed for... Unrelated reasons. Becky was basically killed because she was she discovered the truth about Anna. So um, and we know that therefore she also managed to get from Anna's corpse uh, the locket that we now know the locket belonged to the killer. The killer had this locket with the inverted peace sign on it, and the same sign he's got tattooed on his back. So now I guess we have to apparently follow Nick and Diane to get uh, who Diane because Nick was having an affair with Diane figure out where they go, and if they might be the killer. So, let's start staking them out, shall we? Zack, looks like we still have some time to kill. Sorry, my mistake. We're not we're not yet ready for this. Right, now, let's try the thing that came up last time. Let's use the cigarettes to pass some time. Because that's apparently how, that's apparently the weight function in this game. So, heavy cigarettes. I've got 20 of them. So, smoking them will make you forget that time is going by. Okay, use... Oh, so it's making time go faster according to that clock. Now, and back. Quarter past ten worked just fine for me. So it's not just like a, a pure weight function, but it does let you skip through time. There we go. Now, now it's past ten o'clock. Beautiful. Really feel like we could at this point just straight up arrest Diane and just say, look, you've got a crucial piece of evidence. You've got the flipping uh, box that the twins gave you. We're just arresting you for that. Hand it over. I wonder what happens next. Oh, no, in this game, it could be something completely non sequitur. Here we are with our vibrating car. Obviously incredibly subtle. They will never see it coming. And his eyes are glowing as if he's been possessed by a demon. Apparently no one in this town, you know, no one in this town goes out if it's raining. But uh, he does. He's happy to, rather than going home, he's happy to uh, head on to the art gallery. So now I'm guessing we're just following Nick. Okay, let's get on after him then. Oh no, oh no, we can't be too close. We can't be too close. We've got to keep our distance. So 50 yards is safe. We've got to stay close enough that we don't lose him. And factoring in the fact that there's an excellent chance I will at some point get lost and or crash. So 50 yards is pretty safe. It's quite hard to track him. Okay, round the corner. Oh, si okay, sirens are bad. Okay. You know, Nick will do this all again tomorrow night. Oh no, do I have to flip him wait till tomorrow? Because I turned on the sirens because I'm a fool. I just wanted to see how the game would react to that. He'll be at the bar. I'll bet dinner on it. I love the logic of, well, he spotted us once, but if we follow him again tomorrow, he'll never know. Wait, what? What just happened? I had a cigarette and now the sky is on fire and everything's exploding. What? 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 Uh oh. I feel, I feel like the apocalypse is here. What the hell is going on? Oh god, there's zombies everywhere. There's all of a sudden zombies. Right, run them over. Run them the hell <laughs> What have I just done? Oh god, I've done too many cigarettes and now everything's on. Every oh lord. What are you? You're a zombie, aren't you? Does this damage the car? Oh, if I damage the car doing this, this is going to be one hell of a thing to explain to the insurance company. Yo, oh, yeah, that damages the car quite a lot. Okay, can I just wait through this? You know what? I'm just going to smoke my way through the zombie apocalypse. It's fine. Me and the deer head are going to hang out in my clock dream world and everything's going to be fine. We're just thinking, if this is actually how fast time, you know, passes when you're, if you're a smoker, like, imagine how much more productive you could be with your day if, you know, nine hours didn't pass in a couple of minutes. Oh, thank God the zombie apocalypse is over. Looks like you can only pass, like, six hours with a cigarette, though. I'd better get something to eat soon. Okay, and I should go to bed, apparently. Oh, you still get hungry and tired while you're, uh, while you're, uh, smoking, apparently. All right, fine. We need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. We're free in Carol's literally there. Look, look, we could interview her. I've got places to be. Let me get to them. Yes, God forbid the flipping FBI would actually in some way stand in your flipping... George, are you tailing... I think George is tailing Carol. 
in the subtlest way imaginable. He's got his hands behind his, he's got his little hands behind his back, so there's no way she'll realise. Oh good, the zombie dropped something. The zombie I ran over actually dropped something. Is it something useful? Ah, shotgun shells. I think I'm already full up on them. Okay, just head back to the police station to sleep, just to get some sleep rather than use up my coffee supplies. Uh, I've just realised I'm also looking pretty filthy at the moment. I'm trying to remember where the nearest um, clothes changing thing was. I thought it was in this little side room in the police station, but I may be mistaken. Oh, well, I may just have to be smelly, fly surrounded with York just for the minute. Never mind. I'm really tired, so I need to uh, I need to get some sleep before I do any of uh, before I go hunting for one of those. I'm not sure what the consequences of being sleeper. I don't know if you literally die if your sleep meter reaches zero, but that's fine. I remember there's some beds down here in the uh, in the basement, so I can literally just grab some shut eye in a cell. Well, let's be honest, this is kind of where York deserves to be. There we are, nice cell for York, where I always belong, and let's get some sleep. And the sleep that I can get can be for I can get like 12 hours sleep. Yeah, that will take me right up to 10 p.m. Beautiful. Admittedly, that will mean I'll be inside the police station when it's technically closed. Like came at a bad time. Let's get out of here. Oh, do you get kicked out when it closes? Ah, uh, never mind. Well, I've got like the whole day's sleep though, so that'll bring me into the evening. So that means a single cigarette will now get me back to 10 p.m. Uh oh, my hunger's uh oh. Oh, I'm starving to death. I'm starving to death, and I've got no food in my inventory. All right, hang on. Right, got to come up with a plan for this. Right, what's open at the moment? The diner will be open. Yes, the diner will be open. I'm just going to run to the diner, okay? I'm going to run to the diner and use first aid kit in the meanwhile to stop myself dying. Oh, God, I didn't realise I'd completely run out of all my food. I'm... <laughs> I just love when you're running. The flies have to go at top speed to keep up with you. <laughs> it's like they're flipping orbiting me. You guys better be open. I really need a sandwich. Like, I'm dying for a sandwich. I don't mean that idiomatically. Where's Olivia? Where's where's the food? This is food. Olivia, please. Please, Olivia. Yes, I need food. Let me see the menu. Thank goodness. You want to eat? Yes, yes, I'm actually dying. Okay, lovely. I ate, I just ate a roast turkey. Let's get a big amount of steak too. As I've got $8,000, I feel like we can just, you know, top up our food. That's fine. Now, can I actually buy any food to take away with me? Or is this literally just food that you eat as you come in? Yeah, okay. I think it's just food that you eat as you come in. Interestingly, you can, if you want to, spend $30 on something that doesn't do any more than a moderate amount of hunger. Just to... Just because. Okay, I can't find any food, so... Alright. I guess I need to just wait until I find something else I can steal. Alright, fine. <laughs> Whatever, I've got plenty of coffee and root beer. I just don't have, um, I don't have anything else I can use, which is unfortunate. I need to find some food somewhere. I do like how, obviously, even now I'm inside the car, the flies are circling. They're just circling outside of the car. I'm assuming they're just phasing through the car. Yes, the flies continue to circle, but they just go straight through the car windows. Marvellous. Multiple homicide of young girls in that college town in Illinois. All the victims were cut open from the throat to the crotch. Ripped right open. You know, I think I preferred it when you were just discussing Back to the Future Part 2. Okay, now I just quickly off screen, I nipped to the supermarket and bought some more food so I don't end up almost dying again. And I've also, you probably noticed there, I also, while I was at the supermarket, they were selling a deep blue suit. So I bought a nice blue suit with a yellow shirt and orange tie. Looks absolutely hideous. Seems quite appropriate somehow. And now I'm just smoking a cigarette to get myself to 10 o'clock. Beautiful. No one seems to mind that. In fact, I think I just spent like, you know, five or six hours just here in the middle of this crossroads. So anyway, let's go into the thing. And this happens again. <laughs> Sorry about that slight delay there. I didn't realise that being an idiot and putting my sirens on the game would actually acknowledge. Next and I also didn't realise the zombie apocalypse was going to happen overnight. I was going to almost starve to death. It's been a busy 24 next. hours. Okay, now this time, don't be an idiot and turn on the siren. We just keep our distance a little bit over 50 yards and we follow next. I like the fact that obviously the game's made it rain, which therefore makes it a little bit more believable that Nick would not see us coming. Because, obviously, on this particular occasion, he's got, um, you know, the, the rain will be kind of obscuring his vision slightly. So it kind of makes sense that he wouldn't actually see anything. Now, just 
got to keep my distance. We're just slowly coming up on 60 yards. I'll just keep him at about 60 yards. Drive on the wrong side of the street. It'll be fine. We know exactly where he's going, of course. He's pretty much going to the art gallery. So, uh, obviously, we know exactly where that is. He's going to go to the top of this road. He's going to turn left, head out into the countryside. And then he'll be, I think, the next big left turn. I know this map disturbingly well now. I will give this game, like... L.A. Noir and like lots of games like, say, GTA Online, I don't really know their maps fundamentally that well because when you've got things just like, you know, waypointers and things that point you in the right direction, especially big ones like they've got in Saints Row that literally tell you, you know, where you're supposed to be turning next. Therefore, you don't learn the city. But this game, because it forces you to flipping learn the city because you just have to understand the map, you start actually knowing this town really, really well. And I feel more, therefore, more connected to it. As a consequence, I don't know if that was intentional, it's probably a complete accident, but it's a nice touch that I've ended up kind of knowing this town, you know, much better than I would do plenty of towns in games. I really do like, by the way, how because Nick's got stuck behind a different car, he's only travelled at like 30 miles an hour, so he's not overtaking because the weather conditions are so poor, so now we've got, if we want to follow him, we can't just basically follow him like at full speed, we've got to go really, really slow to keep our distance. Oh, thank goodness. After about five minutes of that, we've actually got to another cutscene. And, oh, a, a dramatic thing happened. Oh, I love Thomas's face. Thomas's face is marvellous. I think someone's putting a curse on all the cars I drive recently. Um, are we gonna... Agent York, Nick's getting away. Yeah, we should probably start driving. Oh, so now we have to go super fast, do we? Okay, then. Do we actually have to do that driving, or is it going to happen in the cutscene? No, 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 that's happening all in the cutscene. Is Nick here? Sure. No, he hasn't showed up here. What about Diane? Any movement? No action here at all. Did something happen? Yeah, we lost the man who was travelling at 30 miles an hour. It's quite frankly embarrassing. Are you okay? Actually, I had a little drink while I was waiting. This is my first murder case, after all. I'm on edge, and I needed one. It was only a little, though. I'm still in control. Oh, good. We're dealing with a drunk alcoholic man to go with our completely mental FBI agent. This, this, this could only end well. Now, is the art gallery finally going to turn into a creepy internal thing full of monsters as usual? George, you're sure you didn't see Nick? Positive. I haven't taken my eyes from the entrance all night. Is there another entrance? Not that I know of. Okay. Closed art gallery. Oh, the the sky's on fire again. Okay, now, George, can you currently see that the sky is on fire? Can you see this? Because I can, and I think I might be mad. No cars have shown up, haven't seen Nick either. Yeah, but can you see that the sky is currently on fire? Because... That's something I'm worried about right now. Oh, uh, we've got monsters, though. We've got monsters. Yep, okay. Now, this will be useful. So we've got George over there. And we've got this monster over here. Now, George. If I run over here, can you see the monster that's about to come around that corner? Or can you not come around the corner? Can you come this far? No, sadly they can't come over the line that means George can't see them. That's a shame. You know, it looks like these guys are just auto-spawning, so I'm just going to run straight on past them. Because as these guys are auto-spawning, I can't be bothered to deal with them. Uh, we should just be able to blast our way through here pretty quick. Yep, lovely. Don't need to worry about the enemy. Yep, lovely. Are they still following us? They're still following! Uh, just need to quickly reload. And in we go to the house. Yes, this looks like a good thing. Let's go into this house here. I'm guessing there might be like a tunnel that leads from this outhouse into the main art gallery. And that's how Nick got in. This gets well stocked up for like a survivalist or something. All sorts of key supplies. Aha! A tunnel. Quite interesting. That would make an affair more exciting if you got to go for... Oh, from that thought all the monsters were sneaking up behind me. I'm guessing as you're not mentioning the monsters, Emily, you can't you see the monsters. Wait out here, I know. I'm not going to fight you about this anymore. It's a bit harsh to make them wait outside but when there's zombies everywhere. Me this. If there's trouble, then you'll call us in, okay? 
Okay, but you have to promise not to judge me for what trouble I think I'm seeing in there. I'm interested in you and Zack. I don't want anything to happen to you before I hear more about you two. I hear you've got severe mental problems. Why don't we discuss it over dinner? Not to call bullshit on this game or anything, but that ladder would still function perfectly well as a ladder even with the things growing on it. Zack, did you hear that? She wants to know more about you. Well, I am much more interesting and sane than New York. Hello, headquarters! I know! I've got a hot date! So at this point, we're just going through this old tunnel to the art. Oh, but mysteriously, there is actually art on the walls. Looks like a scenic painting of a red tree torn to shreds. Intriguing. Was that supposed to be dramatic? I, I, for a minute, I was just expecting the slightly delayed bum, bum, noise. Okay, and we've got more of these guys. 10 millimeter pistol is slightly embarrassing them. Now, is that an infinite spawning one? No, that's not. That's, uh, that is a one that just faded away. Lovely. Has that fallen down? Can I do anything new with it? No. No, I can't. No worries. Mission knife is pretty much useless. I'm going to check the paintings. I feel like maybe there might be a puzzle with the paintings at some point. So, I might just kind of keep my eye on the paintings. Oh, there's been a murder down here. Observe the pool of blood. Droplets of blood from the ceiling. Blood's still fresh. Could it be the victims? I mean, if we're going through the theory that Nick could be the killer, Diane, would Diane be the next logical victim? If Nick was the killer, why would Nick have killed Anna? I don't think we've got any reason to think that he might have done that. So, that's a... I'm just going to destroy that painting because I don't trust it one bloody bit. And then we've got... Lots of things in the way. I guess I could just climb over these, but, you know, what, what's the point of having an infinite gun if you can't blow everything up? There we go. That's much faster. Ooh. Is there something in the vents? Is it a monster? Do I need to be aware of a monster? Are we about to do a running bit or a fighty bit? Oh. Yep, that's right. Get your gun out. What are we taking on? I'm glad he's gone straight for the infinite machine gun thing. Oh, it's a creepy girl for whom gravity is just something she's read about in a book. That's... Oh, she's got slightly crazy googly eyes. Okay, I'd say we should probably just keep our distance for the moment. And then take a pot shot at her. Uh, knock her down off the ceiling. Knock her down... Oh, blimey. She, okay, she's pretty good at... She's pretty fast. All right, let's get her off me. That's fine. I've got tons of health kits. Got tons of health kits, so I'm not too worried. She's oh, she's gone partly invisible. Uh, okay, so she she's a teleporter, is she? Is that is that her is that her deal? She's a teleporter, and then just stick away from her, put a few bullets into her, back. Oh, evade! What was I evade? <laughs> just ran straight through the thing. I was supposed to be evading. Where is she right now? Oh, evade! Yep, feel like that wasn't really much evaded particularly well, but I just need to wait for her to be visible, really. When she goes visible, she's uh, vulnerable. Just wait for her to go along the wall. She'll be visible in a second as she crawls along, I suspect. Up on the ceiling. Oh, I think I missed my chance with her there. That's a shame. She's, yeah, she's not vulnerable for long, is she? I'm just gonna fire, I'm just gonna fire blindly into her and the off chance she will be. Yeah, there we go. And they've got that got a good few bullets in on her. I'm not sure if I am actually damaging her, perhaps, but uh right, just reload. Alright, well I'll just keep doing this over and over and I'll let you know if it stops working at any point. I mean I'd go for her with melee weaponry, but I feel like she's vulnerable for so little time I wouldn't even be able to with the swing. Oh, she's finally flipping gone down. She's tough. Either, you know, like in many games, like when you pick up, when you go fight the first of something, it's tougher than the ones you meet subsequently. So either she's a one-off or the next ones will be easier, I think, because she took a lot of bullets. That or I need to kind of get myself a shotgun or something, because obviously this thing's really good for just pounding enemies where I can just kind of, you know, pound them into submission. But because you only get, like, a very brief window to hit her, like, this weapon's not so good. I'd need something more like a shotgun to take care of her, I feel like. Now, let's climb up to the art gallery. Is the art gallery also a mad, insane place full of monsters? 
Well, it does kind of look a bit grimy, yes. Well, we're still definitely in mad territory, even though we're in the art gallery itself. Baby. Man with a pretty damn good beard. Ah, uh, yes, now I know where we are. Well, kind of. Stop smoking the cigarettes, York. This is what causes this. Right, profiling. We have no choice but to do the first profiling. Let's see if we can figure anything out. You? What are you doing here? So it was you. Much more astonishing than I imagined. I'm impressed. No! Don't! I'm not even gonna stop! Well, from that declaration that we just heard there, the I'm not into that stuff, that does feel to me like, once again, we've got a situation where sexual violence was involved, where the killer was known to the victim. The... ooh, that's a lovely picture. Where the victim basically saw the raincoat killer outside of the raincoat and decided to have sex with them, and then the sex got nasty, and that's how she was killed. Which is also why, of course, in Becky's house, last part, the blood was all over the bed, because they were sleeping together. So, whoever it is... Wait, put down? Put down what? What are you talking about? What? Oh, we have to find something to be put to put on that pedestal. Right, okay. So I just need to find... I need to find, like, a thing to put on the pedestal. That's fine, that... Well, it doesn't make sense, but it's 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 pure old-school Resident Evil logic, which is lovely. So, okay, so I'm looking for something to put on that pedestal at some point, and then that will presumably open up the painting and reveal, like, a safe behind it or something. Now, any monsters up here? No, okay, and another, presumably another pedestal here. So, a baby. Okay, so the paintings that were presumably flagged, we need to put something down in front of. So there's the painting of the old weird dude. There's a painting of a baby. Anything up here? Anything around here? No, none of these matter. So the the, the dude, and presumably we're going to go down here and find the, the beard. The beard person. Probably in the same position as we found the important uh, thing earlier. Oh, it's another... Oh, it's another tree of hands. It's another tree of hands. Yes, the tree of hands. We already ran into one of those. Don't look so surprised, York. It's just a tree of hands. Goodness sake, we've seen weirder stuff. We've seen way weirder things. Um, oh, time is ticking down. And then, presumably, yes, we've got another one of those to put down. And now we've got to take out the tree of hands before the arbitrary time limit runs out. What do we have to shoot this time? Is it the fruit of the tree of hands? The hands of the tree of hands? The... What? What are you wanting me to shoot? Can I go by the tree of hands? The tree of... Does the tree of hands grab me if I'm too close to the tree of hands? What's the yellow thing? What's the yellow thing on the tree of hands there? That's an... Apple. Okay. What just caught... Oh! I see. We're picking up apple sculptures. Ah, that makes no sense, but whatever, we'll run with it. And then there's another one above the back there. If I can't get it from this angle. Right. So I've got the green apple sculpture. The ripe apple, so the red apple sculpture. Did I not see? There's got to be another apple sculpture. There's got to be... There it is. Look, isn't it? Okay, that's the other apple sculpture. Red apple. Oh, red and ripe apple are broadly interchangeable. I'm feeling bad about how similar they are. Now, you're holding the... Oh, ripe. Ripe apple. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. So, the green, they aren't ready yet. It's because of the age of the apple. Bit too ripe. So, the old guy gets the ripe apple. 
Oh, time's running out because the tree of hands is filling up the area with the gas of hands. But I now know the solution. I now know the solution. The baby, meanwhile, gets the green apple because the baby is young. Green apple. Yes. And then, no, come on. We can make it. Except I can't see where I'm doing because I'm on the Resident Evil stairs. Which is quite frankly not fair. Oh, come on. Come on. To here. Yes. And then put the one down. No! That's not fair! You utter git! You utter git! I'd made it to the pedestal! And York apparently goes mad and dies. I'd made it to the pedestal! You utter git! I had- I'd solved your cocking puzzle! You see, it's a bit of an odd one that the game gives you a failure there, because now I can literally just immediately begin again. Which is- it's- it's very odd. I can just begin again, immediately. So it's not like the game's like, punish me or put me back a fair way. It just makes me do the thing again, so why not just- Oh well, whatever. Let's- okay, let's do this. Oh god damn it, where's the cocking apple? I know the solution to the puzzle. I just can't find the apple on the bloody tree of hands. One of the apples just didn't spawn in. Which is c incredibly useful game. Thank you. Okay, this time all the apples have spawned in. <laughs> Yay! And with all three apples this time, thank you game, I can solve the puzzle. Also, where does York get off on his apple fascism, declaring that green apples aren't ready yet? Green apples can be delicious. Nothing flipping wrong with green apples. It's not like tomatoes, York. I think you're getting confused with tomatoes. And the third sculpture goes down, thereby defeating the Tree of Hands. Somehow. Oh, I see. Sorry. Putting the apple sculptures in the right place has not only defeated the Tree of Hands, it's caused the paintings of monsters to come to life. Including this one, presumably. Yes, hello. Also, all the barriers have just disappeared. Which is kind of unusual. Now, how many more of them were there? What's she got? She got a shotgun! <gasps> a shotgun! What do you mean I can't keep this? Screw you! No, no, no! I'm having the cocking shotgun! You know what? I think I'll drop the shovel. Okay, so the shotgun can hold seven whatever shotguns hold. Clips, rounds, bullets, bananas. I don't know. I don't know guns very well. Uh, and then I've got 70 in reserve. So, you. Congratulations. Your shotgun victim number one. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you're getting back up again. You're getting back up from a shotgun blast. Seems unfair. How about now? You can't be getting back up from that. This shotgun's the worst thing ever. I'm guessing the tr the tree of hands is gonna. Oh, the tree of hands is where the seeds come from. You grow them on the tree of hands, probably. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I was assuming they were coming from Kason's plants, but it looks like yeah, the red seeds come from the tree of hands. Do they grow hand trees? Is that where they come from? Yes, a red seed that's found in the mouths of all the people who die could be important. I'm also worried about Diane's safety, to be honest. Feeling like Dan's going down. Nah, I can't be bothered profiling. I'll wait till I've got all the clues. Well, as that shotgun just took three bloody shots to actually kill a... Just a normal zombie. Then that seems pretty worthless. And I'm just going straight back to... Yeah, I'm going straight back to my normal uh, infinite machine gun. That seemed to work way better. Right, onwards to the main bit of the gallery. Now, we know where um, Diane's office is. So, I guess we could just go... Straight there, but I'm gonna guess there's like loads of those like, you know, fear barriers up. They're gonna prevent me doing that thing. So obviously I can't just go through here. Can I open these doors? Yeah, most of the doors are actually just for show. There's an item there, but I can't get to it. Alright, fine. We're just gonna be forced through this area the way the game wants us to, aren't we? Are all the paintings still trees? Yes, the paintings are all still trees. Oh, hello. We found some people. Key to the special exhibition room on the corpse I just first killed there. Lovely. That's fine. I'm guessing that's just the way I've kept going. None of these doors are going to open, are they? No. We're just, we're just going for a fairly linear little area at this point. That'll open with the key I just found, but more people want some of the love. That's fine. With these infinite bullets, there is plenty of love to go around. Broken stiletto heel shoe. Okay, that's the first item, therefore. 
that the um, the twins delivered back to Diane. Um, yeah, delivered back to Diane because the letter from Becky specifically said, "I'm going to send the um, the shoe back to you." And I think she also said she was going to fix it first. So, oh well, she broke her promise there. You know, now I've got an infinite um, an infinite gun. I do feel like I could just farm these spawn points for infinite goodies. Because the enemies just seem to keep sporadically dropping things. Uh, so I feel like I could just farm this area if I really wanted to. Yeah, there we are. They just keep dropping more and more stuff. Ah, we're going down to the basement. The area I didn't actually come to last time I was here. So I'm going to assume I couldn't have done. That it would have probably been blocked off. But alright, we're into a new area. Uh-oh, if we're back in a basement, that could be more of those... Oh no, not a Resident Evil section. That's just unfair. Don't make me do flipping conflicts in a Resident Evil section. If we've got more of those people who come out of the pipes, then I feel like we can handle with those now pretty easily with a shotgun. Because even though the shotgun I don't think is actually that good, to be honest, if you've only got one shot at them... Oh, hello! You just came out of nowhere! Oh, where did you come from? Were you standing over to the left or did you just spawn? Oh, well, I've got plenty of health kits. Come on, get off me. Off you come. If, if the door's next to a spawn point, that's quite frankly a little bit on. Oh, there's more of the flipping bastards too. Right, hang on, where did you all come from? Right, turn on this machine. What is this machine and why am I turning it on? Uh, oh, this is this is the archives under the museum, so there are items inside there. Oh, is that about to get the dramatic music as it goes bloody? Dramatic music. No, no dramatic music this time. So, drawn in blood, circular painting, not part of her collection. That's going to be... Oh, that's going to be the final item. Okay, interesting. That, this has been a little... This has been quite a short section. So, alright, let's see what actually did happen. Was it actually... Guy turned up. You? What are you doing here? She recognises him, presumably. So it was you. Much more astonishing than I imagined. I'm impressed. No! Don't! I'm not a good stuff! Stabbed in the chest there. The inverted peace sign on his back. Wait, that was a female voice. The killer's female? Ah. I mean, if that is true, that's interesting. Because we know that, well, we believe, my best estimate from the flashbacks is multiple, multiple uh, people were having relationships with the, uh, were having relationships with the killer. So that was just multiple female people in town were lesbians, which is... Possible, but just based on the number of females in town and the number of people who would have been having a relationship with a woman is feels statistically unlikely at the bare minimum. Right, well, let's go down here and see. I'm presuming now we've found the three clues. We're going to find uh, poor Diane herself in a moment. Hopefully Diane will actually give us something. Oh, save point. I'm feeling like we're going into a boss. Hello, headquarters. Honestly, nothing interesting to say today. Might be a boss fight, so I'm going to save just in case. Really, I'm just saving. Sorry. I was sent a report this evening, though. Right. In we go to what some form of boss fight, I'm guessing. Could be another one of those things that came out of the vents. That seems quite possible. I should go to bed soon. No, no, no. Just have a coffee. Are you that tired already? You flipping wuss. Hang on. How are you? Oh, you're a bit tired. Um, don't worry. It's fine. Uh, we've got loads of coffee. And also loads of health kits. So, black coffee. There you go. That gets you up, doesn't it? And recovers a little tiredness. And, well, yeah, you'll, you won't be as sleepy for a while. Uh, and I brought some food that I bought from the shop. There we go. And I found a sugar donut, so I may as well eat that. Lovely. Right, now I've had a quick hot dog. I should be in a fit state to carry on doing the insane mental mer- Oh, yeah, that's an open thing. If I just come back the way I came, actually. Did I? Oh, I might have done. Hello. Right, okay. Shotgun time for you. You're going to go down to a shotgun, aren't you? 
Okay, got you with a shotgun blast. And we'll just evade and move backwards and forwards. Hopefully the shotgun will do reasonably well. Oh! She went down way faster that time. I know I could add a bit of that pipe because I don't, I, you know, it's basically just run from one side to the other. But yes, shotgun is definitely better for that fight at least. Uh, though I will probably keep using my standard machine gun uh, for the normal enemies. Oh, not a flipping gun. Come on, game. You're, me you're messing me about here. Okay, another one goes down. These are not... Okay, th this underground bit is really annoying me because this isn't a fun enemy to fight. That is actually a really bad... Oh, no. You are... What are you actually joking me right now? Are you actually taking the mick game? Okay, another one goes down, but there's another vent at the end that you cannot be seriously suggesting to me that you want to do three of these fights in a row. Oh, flip. That's just a normal person. Fine. Well, good. Anything but one of them again. Now, submachine gun if you'd be so kind. Yeah, I like these guys better. They don't go... Well, it's, it's not just invisible. Mysteriously, while invisible, they're, they're completely invincible, which is very unusual. Okay, um, question for the comments. Are those enemies going to be showing up again? And if they are, what's the most effective way to deal with them? Because I can't really see a better way than the way I was doing with the shotgun. And that was still pretty damn slow. There's a chance to shave here, but no. As you've probably been noticing, my York has been getting nicely bearded. And I'm going to keep him that way. And I think we may have just found our way back to sanity. Which would logically mean that we'll actually, in a minute, be able to find flipping where Diane was the whole time. Yep, that's sanity room. Now... Where is she? Where's Diane? Nick. Nick? Oh. Nick, is he dead? York, you're not very good at expositioning there. Oh, she may have been impaled on her own sculpture. Oh no, she's just been hung over it. Is she okay or is she pretty dead? Oh, I get the feeling she's alive. But she's going to fall onto the sculpture. Now don't let George in. You know what he does. Every time he comes across a woman who's still alive. He just ends up flipping killing her. I mean I'm really curious how the hell the killer managed to get her up there. That's flipping impressive. She is going to fall and be skewered. Resistance with the body. Wait. She's still alive. And she's going to squirm and immediately fall. Don't move her hands and stay still. She's not going to listen. No one ever listens. It's that sort of a game. George, it's no good. It won't budge. Emily, stand back. Stand back and let the innocent woman die in peace, for goodness sake. Oh, George is, is, George is putting on his bloody Chris Redfield Resident Evil 5 face. He can punch that boulder. Punch that boulder, George. There's not enough time. What? This is a terrible plan! No, Diane. And Francis York Morgan has pretty much become Superman there. This is a terrible plan. Actually flipping worked. Though I'm going to guess she's still been a little bit, a bit injured. Though if she's alive, we've got someone who flipping from the um, the profiling actually knows who the killer is. Though um, I'm guessing she may not have a tongue. But that's fine if she's alive, she can write it down. Well, that'll teach the killer for coming up with ludicrously elaborate, unnecessary death traps. Thomas, call an ambulance. <gasps> what? A what? They're, they're an emergency service. They, they bring medical professionals. Oh, George is putting on a face. Oh, it's just Diane. It's fine. She's just better than we expected. Diane, Diane don't, don't do anything stupid. Oh, what a beautiful beast. The reason why he fell off is many directions. Combinating in sharp voices. Right away, interrupting it. Oh, 
I'm not going to pretend to have a full insight into a woman's psyche, but women watching, I'm going to guess you don't actually want to be, you know, that sort of thing. Spiky, big spiky thing. Not, not necessarily the most alluring thing in the world. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. That seems fair. We should have done that a while ago. Back off! Don't touch me! <sighs> oh, George, you've killed another woman! Oh, George, why do you always kill the women? You're a police officer. Restrain her and bring her. Oh, for goodness sake. Did Diane get stabbed by any chance? So we've lost our one clear and obvious lead to the murderer. Yep, I'm guessing so. Okay, prioritise getting her to say who the murderer is. If at all possible. Oh, now Emily's gone a bit peculiar as well. Come on, Emily, you were the only normal one. So we managed to save one of the victims, and then she went mental and died in what was largely an unrelated accident that the police themselves caused. So basically a coincidence. <laughs> we actually found someone who could have identified the murderer, and then by sheer accident, we sort of killed that Can witness. That? Oh, it's a dog. It's Kason's dog. Kason. All right, may as well follow this madness. Dog, where are you leading me? You're just leading me back to the thing that the blood trail would have already led to, aren't you? You're such an idiot dog. I could have just followed the blood trail. I mean, I already even knew about this room. I've been into it before. I feel like the Dalmatian is not necessary. The police could have figured out to go through the doors that are smeared with blood by themselves. Wait a second, I saw Push there for a minute. There's a secret room. Not a particularly good secret room. I could see it for a crack at the back of the cupboard there, but... What do we have here? Oh, it's one of Kaysen's pot plants, together with Kaysen's dog. I'd say it was you know, pretty obvious that something's there. Kaysen, what are you doing in there? York, is that you? Thank God, I can't get this door open. Can you unlock it from your side? Kaysen, stand away from the door. I would have assumed that Kaysen had been kidnapped or held prisoner or something, but given the whole dramatic music, ah yes, and the lipstick on the cheek. You're not just a key witness now. You're now a suspect. And you need to tell me exactly what you were doing here. Well, and I want just, diagrams. Just came here to talk with Diane. To have a conversation. And I suppose that kiss mark on your cheek is from your conversation. Okay, okay. I came here to be with Diane. You happy now? We've been together before. A, a, a couple times. It's one of the reasons why I like coming to this town, see? This time is no different. I, I, I bumped into her in a bar in Seattle. I had some, some holiday coming up. Well, so, so I just took it and I drove her back here. I have a wife, you know, but, but we've been separated for a while. We're going through a divorce right now and I don't want her lawyer finding out. I swear my beard was longer than that outside of this cutscene. We were, you know, enjoying ourselves. Then Nick had to show up. Well, then Diane had a sudden change of heart. She locked me up in here. Why would she? Okay, fine, she might have hidden you if, like, Nick was the jealous sort, but why flipping lock him? Also, Nick's not really in a position to get angry that Diane's seeing someone else on the side when Nick's flipping married to Olivia. York, do you have a moment? What is it, George? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? Can't we just do it here? If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course, we don't really have to. A bar? Now that sounds like a good idea. Zack, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the hotel. Yeah, let's go for a drink, see what George has to say. George, that scar on your cheek. Where did you get it? This? 
Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. It was my mother. She did it. I'm sorry, George. I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. And it didn't stop there. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. Please, Mama. I won't do it again. That hurts, Mama. Oh, I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. This is all very sad, but um, have we arrested Quint? Interviewed Nick? Visited Carol to get the locket that we know she possesses that might be a link to the killer. We don't we don't any of those things before we deal with your childhood trauma. You must already hate me for causing all these problems, not following your orders. I'm more annoyed by the fact that your actions have already led to the death of two victims who had survived the killer. Like, just just stop killing women. Well, that was completely pointless. Carol, can we just ask you for the damn locket, please? Hey, Carol. Becky is dead. Diane, too. We've got Nick in custody as a suspect. Hand over the locket. Nick didn't do it. I know. No, we don't. Carol, you took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. That That's an empty piece of paper. He, she, he, he can't see it. You're holding it the wrong way round, York. You, th that wasn't facing her. That The ceiling is interesting, too. I'm busy. Gotta go. Wait, hand over the locket! What just happened? Oh, don't focus on people singing, game. It just indicates that your lip syncing's pretty damn far off. Uh, her singing's been going on for about a minute and a half, two minutes at this point. I think I've accidentally just started the her singing cutscene. Y y York and George are as bloody confused as I am. Where's the locket? In a game with many pointless cutscenes, that was possibly the most pointless yet. That's amazing. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think on that lack of any bombshell, we will leave it there and we will pick things up next week. Blimey, this game is odd. I guess we're going to go back to the hotel, do some profiling, and uh, we'll figure out where the next logical step is. The next logical step is, basically, if Carol won't hand over the locket, arresting her until she flipping does and also uh, interviewing Quint, doing an interrogation of both Quint and Nick, because they've got to be the prime suspects here. But all right, we'll pick this up next week, and hopefully that's where we're going next. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Deadly Premonition. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Down, 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 get off it. Just hop off. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, that was wrong! I would untie and save you, you understand, but there is a hovercraft. I really hope the bear's not still around. The bear is still around! The bear's still around! The bear's still around! Good news, guys! Elephants here! Hey!